Welcome back to Interview Channel. Today, we're covering the top 25 interview questions and answers for laboratory assistant positions. Whether you're a fresher or looking to switch careers, this comprehensive guide will help you ace your interview. Let's get started. Question 1. What made you choose a career as a laboratory assistant? Sample answer. I've always been fascinated by scientific research and laboratory work. During my academic years, I particularly enjoyed practical laboratory sessions and developed a strong attention to detail. I believe working as a laboratory assistant allows me to combine my passion for science with my organizational skills while contributing to important research and testing procedures. Help feed children in need by subscribing to Interview Channel. Your subscription can change lives. We donate a portion of our proceeds to this vital cause. Subscribe and like our videos now, and let's build a brighter future together. Stay tuned for the second question. Question 2. What are the essential skills required for a laboratory assistant position? Sample answer. Key skills include attention to detail, organizational ability, knowledge of laboratory safety protocols, proficiency in using basic lab equipment, ability to maintain accurate records, good communication skills, and basic computer literacy for data entry. Additionally, being able to work both independently and as part of a team is crucial. Question 3. How do you ensure safety in the laboratory? Sample answer. Safety is my top priority. I always wear appropriate PPE including lab coat, gloves, and safety goggles. I follow standard operating procedures strictly, maintain a clean workspace, properly label all materials, dispose of waste appropriately, and am familiar with emergency protocols and the location of safety equipment like eyewash stations and fire extinguishers. Question 4. How do you maintain accuracy in your work? Sample answer. I maintain accuracy by following standard protocols meticulously, double-checking measurements, calibrating instruments regularly, keeping detailed records, and working without rushing. If I'm ever unsure about something, I don't hesitate to ask for clarification to prevent mistakes. Question 5. What experience do you have with laboratory equipment? Sample answer. During my education and training, I gained experience with various equipment including microscopes, centrifuges, pH meters, spectrophotometers, and autoclave machines. I understand the importance of proper handling and maintenance of equipment and always follow manufacturer guidelines. Question 6. How do you handle multiple tasks and prioritize your work? Sample answer. I use a systematic approach to manage multiple tasks. I maintain a daily checklist, prioritize tasks based on urgency and importance, and communicate effectively with team members about deadlines. I'm also flexible and can adapt my schedule when urgent matters arise. Question 7. What would you do if you noticed a colleague not following safety protocols? Sample answer. I would approach the situation professionally and discreetly. First, I would speak with the colleague privately to ensure they're aware of the correct protocols and understand their importance. If the behavior continues, I would report it to the supervisor, as safety cannot be compromised in a laboratory setting. Question 8. What are your strengths as a laboratory assistant? Sample answer. My key strengths include meticulous attention to detail, excellent organizational skills, and the ability to follow protocols precisely. I'm also a quick learner, work well under pressure, and maintain a positive attitude even during challenging situations. Question 9. How do you handle stress in a fast-paced laboratory environment? Sample answer. I manage stress by staying organized, maintaining clear communication with colleagues, and breaking down complex tasks into manageable steps. I also ensure to take short breaks when needed to maintain focus and accuracy in my work. Question 10. How would you handle a situation where you've made a mistake in the lab? Sample answer. If I make a mistake, 
I will immediately inform my supervisor, document the error, and take necessary corrective actions. I believe in transparency and learning from mistakes to prevent their recurrence. Question 11. What experience do you have with documentation and record keeping? Sample answer. I understand the importance of accurate documentation in laboratory work. I'm experienced in maintaining detailed logs of experiments, results, and procedures. I'm also familiar with digital record keeping systems and can ensure all documentation meets regulatory requirements. Question 12. How do you stay updated with laboratory techniques and procedures? Sample answer. I regularly read scientific journals, attend relevant workshops when possible, and am always eager to learn from more experienced colleagues. I also make sure to thoroughly review any new protocols or procedures introduced in the workplace. Question 13. What would you do if you noticed contamination in a sample? Sample answer. I would immediately document the contamination, isolate the affected sample, and report it to my supervisor. I would then follow proper disposal procedures and investigate the source of contamination to prevent future occurrences. Question 14. How do you handle working with hazardous materials? Sample answer. When working with hazardous materials, I always review the material safety data sheets first, use appropriate PPE, and follow established protocols strictly. I ensure proper labeling, storage, and disposal of these materials and am prepared for emergency situations. Question 15. What experience do you have with quality control procedures? Sample answer. I understand the importance of quality control in laboratory work. I'm familiar with maintaining control samples, performing calibration checks, and following standard operating procedures to ensure reliable results. Question 16. How do you maintain a clean and organized workspace? Sample answer. I follow the clean as you go principle, regularly sanitize work surfaces, properly dispose of materials, and ensure all equipment is returned to its designated place. I also maintain an organized system for storing samples and reagents. Question 17. What would you do if you ran out of a crucial reagent during an experiment? Sample answer. I would immediately inform my supervisor, check if alternative protocols are available, and contact other lab members to see if they have spare reagents. This situation emphasizes why I always check inventory before starting experiments and maintain a good stock management system. Question 18. How do you handle working in a team environment? Sample answer. I enjoy collaborative work and believe clear communication is key to successful teamwork. I'm always willing to help colleagues, share knowledge, and contribute to a positive work environment while respecting everyone's roles and responsibilities. Question 19. What are your long-term career goals? Sample answer. I aim to continuously enhance my laboratory skills and knowledge. In the long term, I hope to take on more responsibilities, possibly pursue additional certifications, and grow within the organization while contributing to meaningful research and testing. Question 20. How do you handle constructive criticism? Sample answer. I view constructive criticism as an opportunity for growth and improvement. I listen carefully to feedback, ask questions for clarity if needed, and implement suggested changes to enhance my performance. Question 21. What would you do if you witnessed a chemical spill? Sample answer. I would immediately alert nearby colleagues, initiate emergency protocols, and contact emergency response if necessary. I would ensure the area is cordoned off, and only attempt to clean up if trained to do so and if it's safe. Proper documentation and incident reporting would follow. Question 22. How do you ensure accurate measurements in the laboratory? Sample answer. I always use properly calibrated equipment, double-check measurements, and follow standard protocols. When measuring liquids, I ensure proper technique including reading at eye level and checking for meniscus. 
I also regularly verify the accuracy of measuring equipment. Question 23. What experience do you have with sample preparation? Sample answer. I'm familiar with various sample preparation techniques including dilution, filtration, and centrifugation. I understand the importance of proper labeling, storage conditions, and maintaining sample integrity throughout the preparation process. Question 24. How do you handle time-sensitive experiments? Sample answer. For time-sensitive experiments, I prepare everything in advance, create a detailed timeline, and ensure all necessary materials are ready. I set timers when needed and maintain focused attention throughout the procedure while still following all safety protocols. Question 25. Why should we hire you as our laboratory assistant? Sample answer. I bring a strong combination of technical skills, attention to detail, and a genuine passion for laboratory work. My commitment to safety, accuracy, and continuous learning, along with my ability to work well both independently and in a team, makes me an ideal candidate. I'm eager to contribute to your laboratory's success and grow with the organization. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. Share your thoughts and any additional questions you might have in the comments below.